when you bend your knee the quadriceps muscle is stretched this increases the tension in the quadriceps tendon attached to your knee cap which in turn increases the tension in the patella tendon that attaches your knee cap to your lower leg bone simultaneously the end of your upper leg bone pushes outward on the patella figure shows how these parts of a knee joint are arranged what size force does the femur exert on the knee cap if the tendons are oriented as in the figure and the tension in each tendon is 60 newtons okay here is the diagram and you have tendons tq this is and then tp this is okay tq is straight upwards along the y direction and tp is at an angle 42 degrees that i represented here okay in the free body diagram first we have to draw the free body diagram now so that is what i did along the x direction this is the x direction because e, this one is at an angle of 42 degrees patella tendon is at an angle of 42 degrees so I reserved this force into two components, TPX, TPY. And he gave each tendon exerts a tension force of 60 newtons. So your TP is equal to 60 newtons. Okay. And then TQ is also 60 newtons. And uh, so we have to resolve them, TPX and TPY. And TQ I need not because this is straight upwards, same force. TQ is equal to 60 newtons. Okay, and now he is asking, what is the size of the force does the femur exerts? This is the femur. Okay, so the femur again exerts a force of some tension force on the tibia. Okay, so it is also again at an angle. Okay, now we have to find out F. So here again, I have drawn for femur another free body diagram. Okay, this is the downward force because this is at an angle. This is X and this is Y and this is F. This is for femur. Okay, now if you see this in two diagrams, Fx is equal to TPX. Agree? Because this is acting this side, negative X direction, Fx along the negative X direction, TPX positive X direction. Similarly, Fy is downward and then Tq is upwards and Tpy is downwards. That also I will write. So Tq is equal to Fy plus Tpy. Fy plus Tpy. But I need Fy. That is why I will take Fy is equal to Tq minus Tpy. Okay, Fy I will keep it. Tpy I will take that side. So negative. Because I need Fx and Fy so that I can find out F. Okay. Now, I will write the X component and Y component forces of Tp. Now, Tpy is equal to, you know, Tpy is equal to, this is the perpendicular direction of the 42 degrees. Am I right? So, and moreover, it is downward. Agree? So, what I do is, TPY is equal to 60 sine 42. Okay. And then, what is this value? 60 sine 42. Uh, 60 sine 42 is equal to 40 point. 40.1478 uh, 1478 newtons okay and then i will write tpx tpx is equal to uh, cos component so 60 cos 42 what is that value 60 cos 42 is equal to 44.5886 newtons okay and then uh, TQ is equal to 60 and this one. So, Fx is equal to 
I will write here fx is equal to 44.5886 newtons. Okay. And then f by is equal to uh, 60 minus tq is equal to 60. I will write here tq is equal to 60 newtons. Okay. 60 minus uh, 44 tp by 40.1478 newtons. Therefore, Fy is equal to, what is the value of this one? 19.8521. Okay. Now, what I do is, I have to find out F. So, F is equal to square root of Fx square plus Fy square. Okay. Therefore, F is equal to square root of, what is fx? 44.5886 whole square plus 19.8521 whole square. Okay, therefore f is equal to, what is the f value? f is equal to 48.80 newtons. So this is the answer for this question. Okay. Here, just we are seeing a, a bit uh, difficult uh, picture, but it is not at all difficult. When you draw the free body diagram, it will be easy for you. This is the force you have to find out. So that is 48 newtons. Okay. Just go through it. You will understand this one. Thank you. Bye-bye.